it's been my prediction that sometime next year something really actually big is going to happen right before the uh uh before November December region and you know with our uh, borders being open and Hamas doing what Hamas does there's lots of opportunities for negative things to happen and it will be interesting to see how that will be taken from the news media when something terrible like that happens from people that were allowed through the border or, you know, if China invades Taiwan or, you know, if, if world war three breaks out fully and, you know, Israel's invading Lebanon and Jordan and Syria and all that stuff. And we drop soldiers, you know, if that goes all haywire and Iran and us start going toe to toe, that sort of thing. Um, but Which there's... we can we can prevail, you know. I I do believe. Um, oh yeah, I think in that instance, because what's Iran got? They got some drones and some boats. I mean, and whatever. a lot of missiles. Yeah, well, we can deal with that. The occupation of Iran's a totally different story. But as far as knocking out their military power, no, that's that's not a that's not a big deal. Maybe so, maybe not though. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of subs that the Chinese and Russians have, and you know, our seven or eight fleets are a pretty huge target. And I mean, there's are... no good outcomes, but I, I still, you know, just want to put on the record that I believe that America will prevail. I think that we need that, you know, belief, that fundamental, unshakable conviction that no matter what comes, we will rise to the task and we will prevail. And in, not to be blind to the risks and the hazards, but to, you know, find the the spirit of unity, which remember, interestingly, on the ground in Israel right now, of course, you know, <clears throat> a few months ago, they were at each other's throats about the Supreme Court and the social fabric of Israel. And now they have a unity government. They have people from both sides of the political spectrum working together and fundamentally aligned to defeat a common enemy. And of course, that's in some ways easier when you have an external foe to fight against and to have unity. But at this point in time, I think the United States, we really need to recognize that we have serious external foes and serious internal foes, and we have to have the cultivate the spirit of unity if we're going to get through this. We've let an awful lot of the external foes in, certainly China owning land, Gavin Newsom cleaning up San Francisco only because the Chinese are there. That's like, what about the taxpayers? Those people don't deserve a clean city. Oh, but China does. Okay. Okay. God, that guy is terrible. Well, thanks for tuning in, folks. Till next time, we appreciate your support and let us know what you're thinking. Cheers. Take care.